Okay, good afternoon to all. We are starting afternoon session. We are starting two, three, four. Actually, sir, uh, will you provide uh, will you provide any video or PPT manual of uh, installation of clicker on Akash tablet? No, no. That you will get an APK file. You can simply install during the coordinators workshop. We will demonstrate how to install the APKs on the. No, sir. Uh, Sir, we actually uh, saw the demonstration, but uh, it will be better if you uh, post any manual, like uh, you post the others manual in the module. So that will be better for us. Mane, I am just requesting you, if it is possible. Yeah, yeah, we will put, we will put. Sir, uh, another question is, uh, uh, will uh, IST provide any uh, certificate like faculty for the technical uh, supporting staff for this uh, workshop? Regarding the administrative question, I don't have any idea. Anyway, I will we just send a mail to e outreach, then they will reply. What will be the job role of the technical supporting staff for ah. the uh, workshop of 10th and 11th? Okay, okay. Ten then before 10th and 11th, you will receive the tablet. First, you want to char fully charge the charge all the tablets. After that, you want to install the APKs on each and every tablet and try to connect to Wi Fi and check it. All the things are working fine. Okay, and uh, and when the uh, tablet will be shipped from the IIT Bombay, will there be any um, manual with the tablet, like how to operate it? Or yes, user manual is inside, it is there. Before the workshop, maybe by 6th, you will receive two sample tablets. That is, we will give one to your coordinator, so you can check it and experiment with that. Okay, thank you. 1241. Sir, our question is that uh, uh, when we try to install the APK file in an Android phone that is having configuration 2.3.6, it just gave a message of parse error. Sir, we just wanted to clarify that uh, if we can uh, uh, have it on the, if we, if we have the same message on the tablet. You know, you try to install it on Agash tablet. There is no need to install it on any phone. Sir, we are uh, installing it on an Android phone with 2.3.6 uh, and it just gave us a message of a parse error. The Android tablet so, if that ready, message comes that on the tablet, then what we have to do? No, no, uh, it's 4.0 and it, it is on 2.3.6 also, sir. I am using a Samsung base phone. I have installed it on that also. Do not install it on the, do not install it on the Android, Android phone. And the Akash tablet that you are going to get is a uh, has a version 4.0.4. .4. So we have not tested it on the mobiles. Okay, it is just for the educational purpose and it is just for the tablets. It is not made for mobile phones. So do not try it. We have not tried it, and uh, we will tell you not to try it. We just try it on the tablets. Okay. Okay, okay, fine, sir, fine, fine. Sir, one more doubt is there uh, that uh, if uh, if we uh, are eligible for few more registrations, uh, uh, if we are eligible for that also. For which workshop? So, uh, for a cast, a cast uh, registration that is uh, workshop. That is to be somewhere around 10th and 11th November. If you are uh, eligible for few more registrations. No, no, it's already closed. Registration is closed. So if you have any query regarding this registration and you just call admin team. Okay, okay. okay, okay. Um, we have to call on the admin team regarding that. Yes. So, uh, sir, uh, actually, when I connected the clicker server with the proxy, it, it just gave the message of network connection. But when I connected with the direct line, it was working. So, is there a possibility that we can work it on a proxy system or? And we have to use a direct line for that. Only two, three senders are getting this problem through the proxy. We are working on that. If uh, anyway you just post it on Moodle, if we get a solution, then we will post to you. Just post. Sir, I, I, I have configured it on a direct line and it was working, sir. I have configured it on. I have configured it on direct line and it, it was working. So we will arrange the direct line for that system also. Okay, temporarily you can use the direct line. There is no issues. Because from only one, two, three senders, we are uh, getting this type of problems. We are working on that. Okay, sir. Fine, sir. Fine. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. One, two, four, two. So everything is fine on the, uh, from our side. 
installation is over we have one query sir okay. regarding uh, ip address okay you told that uh, we have to use a static ip for a server yeah we have uh, right now it is working with a dhcp will it be okay no no you use static ip only for the server please use static ip but still it is working with dhcp uh, but when the qc is conducted that time you want to give the ip address to the tablet if it is changing every time then it will create an issue that's why we are suggesting please keep a static ip okay sir okay sir okay it's okay thank you sir 1244 okay sir uh, we can able to they are not able to install the clicker software sir so please send any video files for that we already put the presentation on module you just download that presentation follow that steps what is the error you are getting sir uh, that uh, the remote the remote agash clinker dot war, war file does not copy to the clinker folder we, we don't want uh, we can't able to copy the that file that file into the clicker folder tomcat folder what is it showing is permission denied uh, file missing sir file it missing. shows file missing error i think maybe the downloaded file is corrupted do one thing you download the uh, clicker zip file from the moodle and unzip it after that you copy the var file to the corresponding folder in tomcat web apps folder then you shut down the tomcat and restart sir another query yeah. is wifi required for our for agash workshop yes, yes. wifi is mandatory wifi with internet is mandatory can we able to insert sim on the agash tablet no right now it is not possible sir when will we get the tablet before 10 before 10 okay sir Uh, we request you to send a copy of mail to rc coordinator mail rather than to agash coordinator or what sir if you can you can send it to the rc keep, coordinator you, just keep checking on moodle all the updates will come on moodle all the files and every update is coming on moodle what is the problem is right now people are sending junk mails to agash coordinator that's why we blocked this if you send the mail uh, mail to the agash coordinator group Well, directly we will discard that mail because it is not going to a single person or a. What are the different sessions handled during the workshop? During the workshop schedule, we will announce it later. Thank you, sir. One, two, four, eight. Yes, sir. My question is: What is server configuration, sir, for Akash oriented program? Uh, server is this Intel Xeon processor with minimum 8 GB RAM. And 500 or above into two hard disk. We want to configure it on software rate. Anyway, we will put the configuration in Moodle by today evening itself. Uh, sir, we are already registered at Clicker One, uh, but uh, one of our technical staff member registered that one. We want to modify that one, sir, because it's a coordinate uh, main coordinator registration, na, sir. You have selected proper remote center. Yeah, ma'am. Uh, then you can just uh, go to update link. There is a update link in coordinator register link. Yeah, just you can uh, put your username, new username, password. But I am like um, taking into consideration that you have selected proper remote center because you won't be allowed to select remote center again. Can we continue that login? You can change also, and you can continue with that login also. It's not a problem. Uh, for Akash tablets, we require the SD cards. Can you provide that SD cards for all the tablets, or we can purchase it? You want to purchase? Yesterday, Professor Fatak already announced we will provide one lakh rupees for each remote sender. That include this SD card, wireless access points, plus the server. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, yesterday, Professor Patak sir uh, announced that uh, first lot of Akash tablet, 14 tablets, up to 10 to 11 uh, November, sir. Uh, sir, what about re rest of the participants, sir? They are using ordinary PC or uh, Akash tablet, sir, during the main workshop, 10 and 11 November, sir. How many participants registered in your remote center? Sir, sir, from our college, uh, there are total uh, 77 registration is uh, done. Okay, then you will. Out of 77, we have 75. Sir, uh, if it is not uh, possible, uh, total 77 tablets. Then what about the remaining uh, participants? They can uh, use the desktop for uh, for there the 10th, 11th workshop. There is some 
for the 10th 11th workshop you will get how many number of participant is there that number of tablets you will get but distribution of the tablet there is some terms and condition is there that your college want to certify that that faculty only get the tablets after the workshop uh, sir how to check the connectivity between the server and tablets sir i uh, our server and uh, iit server your server and iit you already registered no that means after the after the registration you can see the page waiting for the main uh, queues that means you are successfully configured okay sir okay 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 thank you 1252 Uh, sir, uh, I have small doubt, sir. When you are going for a server, we can use the same uh, Ubuntu desktop version one ten point zero four, or we can go for some other server version. You can put uh, any version of server, like open source, like Linux, Ubuntu server or Fedora. But the thing is, the software should work on that. That is the only one condition. Thank you, sir. One two five three. Uh, for the registration. So during the registration, I give one the seat allotment as a fifty. Now our uh, staff members are registered as one one one. So is it possible to is it possible to have the all one 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 for the tablets? Yes, yes, we will. Okay, sir. And one more thing, sir. For the server, you given some configuration. Yeah. So we have a core i three two GB one sixty GB hard disk. But uh, in the server itself, uh, we installed everything and it's working fine. Shall we able to continue in that? No, it's an i3 machine. No, actually, the this server is not this server is not only for this workshop. We are continuing with this project. So that time we want to configure some other software, some more videos, and lot of data will come. What are the softwares developing in IIT Bombay as well as? in various remote center that we will put it in a single repository and all the 250 remote center want to mirror that so for that purpose only we are providing this 1 lakh rupees for setting up this infrastructure so for the server is not only for this okay sir so we will continue in your prescribed server yeah there is a minimum configuration of a server so, so most of the our uh, registered participants they given only the A request uh, uh, not at confirmed. Whether we have to do the confirmation? Yes, after registration, they will get a email confirmation mail. One once they click on the specific link, then only their status will change. Is it mandatory? Yes, yes. mandatory. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. One two double five. What type of SD card we are using in August tablet, sir? Micro SD card. Either uh, micro or mini micro SD card. Maximum capacity of uh, memory SD card up to 32 GB. Sir, can you suggest any Wi-Fi device? Two, three Wi-Fi access point. I think yesterday Rajesh mentioned around TP-Link, TP-Link access point. One TP-Link access point can handle around 100 connections. Means 100 tablets you can connect to that TP-Link access point. So, if you have more than hundred, you want to go for more access points. Okay, sir. Fine. And one more question, sir. One of the technical staff register as a technical staff, but uh, uh, he didn't receive any mod model login register uh, login information, sir. Status in the registration page. Sir, actually, um, uh, his name not displayed in that page, sir. Name is not appear means he is not registered, so he is not able to do it. He registered, sir. The one confirmation mail came from E Outreach, uh -huh. but in the uh, uh, verification link, the ID is equal to zero. It displays ID is equal to zero. Okay. When we when we click on that ver verification link, it you do just do one thing. You just forward that mail to E Outreach itself. They will reply back to you. Okay, sir. Oh. Okay, fine, sir. Thank you, sir. One two five six. Sir, at the time of creation of uh, the user clicker underscore UI, uh, its uh, operation failed to create clicker underscore UI at the rate uh, local host is what I am getting it. But uh, I could able to create a user with uh, create uh, clicker UI. So that means maybe is there any problem with the UI uh, underscore? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. 
uh, have you like uh, gone to mysql command prompt by root yes and from mysql command prompt itself uh, but i could able to create user clicker ui okay which os you are using ubuntu 10.04 one minute sir you do one thing just uninstall that and reinstall it again i think something wrong with your configuration i think so because most uh, rest of the sen senders are able to configure this setup very easily most of the people are already configured it is working fine maybe something wrong with your side that's why it is creating problem so but clicker software i could able to get connected like uh, i'm getting uh, waiting for the main centers uh, that means instructor that successfully configured that i could able to do it so you have already like register also yes already registered i think then you already created the username and clicker underscore ui otherwise it is not able to connect that, that is true sir that see the thing is uh. i could able to create a user by clicker ui instead of clicker underscore ui without a user clicker underscore ui can't access the database and if you are logging and you are successfully logging do one thing sir you just take a screenshot the operation denied that just take the screenshot and post it in module we will reply back to you. sure sir sure and sir one more uh, is there any checklist from your end uh, which says that the remote center is technically ready for the workshop for the proposed workshop yeah then we will put it on module the feedback form will come on model and one more thing sir last one uh, like uh, I, uh, most of the participants are saying that uh, regarding the server setup see on the normal pc we have set up whatever the installations that are required mm -hmm. so will that particular normal pc setup is okay for the forthcoming workshop yes normal pc is enough for the forthcoming workshop but after that you want to change the pc to a server convert to a server okay sir thanks a lot One two five nine. In our campus, dealing wireless switch is there. Okay. How many participants registered? Forty three participants are registered. Okay. So I think we you can use one more. I don't know what is the capacity of that dealing. So if it is handling this much participant, then you can use that. Otherwise, you want to put one more access point. That's all. From our side, no more question regarding software and all that. Sir, we have already installed the clicker software, and which will be used as a server during the 10th and 11th workshop. But we don't know exactly how can we connect our tablet to that server to access the IIT Bombay. For connecting a, a tablet, you need Wi-Fi. Through the Wi-Fi, you want to connect it through your local server. The local server automatically connect to IIT Bombay server. Now how uh, how can I give the uh, connect connection? So see, the tablet will be connected through Wi-Fi that I can do. But how that uh, tablet will communicate to the local server? Uh, whether I have to give the IP address of the server as a gateway to this uh, that uh, tablet? No, 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 sir. In the uh, tablet, there is an option called you want to give the local IP of the uh, local server. If you give the local IP of the server to the Agash tablet, it will automatically connect to that tablet. Sorry, connect to that local server, and the local server will automatically connect to IIT Bombay server. So, uh, apart from this IIT Bombay server, uh, if I want to use internet in tablet, how can I do that? Then you want to enable internet on the router level, no? Then only you will get internet to the uh, tablet. Okay, that means in, in in that local server, I have to use the proxy. Through that proxy, you can access the internet, na? No? Through the proxy as well as. So if I want to access the internet in the Akash tablet, hmm. uh, how can I get it? Uh, either using proxy or through wireless router. If you want to download the document of the Moodle, uh, how can you do that? First, you want to download the things from Moodle to your local PC. After that, using some micro SD card or pen drive, you can install it on the tablets. See, in the local local server, we have already installed the clicker. Okay. So from that local server, even I can use uh, access the uh, Moodle. Okay. Right. 
So now how can I access the Moodle from that tablet PC? No, no, there is no need to access Moodle on the tablet PC. We are using 10 and 11 only for conducting the queues. Okay, so that clicker is enough. Yeah. And in that case, uh, if I want to access Moodle from this tablet PC, how can I do that? Or is it not possible? Then you want to go through proxy, then only you can access. No, if your college has proxy server, then you want to configure proxy on the web browser, through that you can access. Okay, so that is during the workshop only that uh, clicker software connection through uh, tablet PC to your, uh, uh, your our local server is enough? Yes. For the workshop? Yes. yes. Okay, okay, thank you. One two six eight. Regarding TP link access point, what is the what is the specification? Like whether we go for G or N? I think you can go for N series. TP link access point N series point. Okay. Now second question is uh, I have installed remote Akash client on a PC that is working fine. Now if I want to change the server in future, so do I have to register again? You can take a dump and you can put it on the new PC, that is okay. You can take the database dump and put it on the new server. Third is regarding SD card, it is required to transfer the clicker software only or for some other purpose no, it is required also? For some other purpose also we need SD cards. SD card should be plugged on the tablet when the system is running. Yes, yes. What is the use of remote clicker.php file? It is, it is used for communication between the tablet and your local server. So that is, direct communication is not required, like uh, there is no use like http colon double slash local host slash remote clicker dot php. No, you don't have to run php for that. You have to just copy the php in the specified folder, that's it. That is in www folder? Yeah. That www. Yeah. Okay, yes. thank you. 1283 Actually, uh, technical query uh, as such we don't have but I want to know that uh, there are uh, uh, in ISP workshop in that web page it is showing 34 candidates uh, there are, they are showing 34 candidates uh, in that uh, the center code instance name is not included Sender? No, center coordinator name will not come there you are the Akash coordinator, right? Uh, that's, that's right. Uh, now, uh, actually, if it is, uh, if the center coordinator is interested to join that workshop, what is needed to do? Only Akash coordinator will join. Akash is no, as a faculty, if center coordinator uh, wants to join, then? Um, there are two coordinators, right? One is RC coordinator and one is Akash coordinator. Akash coordinator want to come to IIT Bombay for the fifth workshop. If the RC coordinator want to participate on the 10th and 11th workshop, they can register and participate. That's what, registration is done but it is not getting shown because one uh, mail uh, had come in center coordinator's mail ID, their registration is done but still it is not showing in that 34 participants list. Okay, madam for more information you just send a mail to e-outreach, they will reply back to you. Any other query? Thank you, sir. One, two, eight, four. Exactly. My question is, after installation of Windows, what we will do next? Uh, we have already been installed Tomcat 6, JDK, uh, PS5. Okay. Already installed Clicker software. And uh, Cracker is not in installed yet. Okay, then go to Moodle. The presentation is available on the Moodle. The Clicker is mandatory for the 10th and 11th workshop. The manuals are available on the Moodle for configuring clicker and the packages is also available on Moodle. Download the package and follow the steps. Anything to be installed in the Akash tablet? What are the packages you want to install on Akash tablet that we will give a demo to all the Akash coordinators when they are coming IIT Bombay on 5th. Only uh, two or three and uh, another question sir. Um, our um, ten, um, uh, 10 technical staff have already registered with module and uh, how many technical staff will receive their um, TACAS tablet? Technical staff that is according to some terms and condition we will check the queues we already conducted and the workshop related and all the things we will consider after that only they will receive the tablet. Thank you. Thank you sir. 1287.
So while configuring clicker, we are getting HTTP 404 error in browser window. So how to resolve this sir? HTTP 404 error means it is not able to find the uh, that clicker folder. So do one thing, you are you installed Tomcat? Yes sir. The, in the browser when you put local was colon 8080, the Tomcat page is coming. Yes sir. Sir, it's uh, giving remote Akash clicker message. Ah, then you want to copy the remote Akash clicker var file to that web apps folder. Then you want to restart the Tomcat. Sir, we have done all these steps and uh, it is giving OK. And uh, but it's giving error in last step that is uh, my SQL restart service. What is error? Uh, sir, it's uh, giving since the script you are attempting to invoke has been converted uh, to an upstart job. You may also use the restart 8 utility. Example, restart my SQL, my SQL start slash running process 1788. Ah, that is process is running, that is not an error. So I think uh, this 404 error means the file is not able to find. You just copy that file, once again you just remove that file and copy it into the web apps folder and again you just restart. Otherwise you just restart the machine and try, it will work. Otherwise, you just take the screenshot of the error what it is coming and post it in the Moodle forum, we will help you. Okay sir. And sir, uh, when I am installing from Aptone CD, some packages marked with red color, they are not getting installed, they are giving an error. Packages marked with the red color. So, how to install them sir? Oh, do one thing, you just uh, eject that CD, once again you just put it back, then you can try. Which package you try to install? Okay. Sir, it's uh, uh, almost every package, Tomcat, MySQL. Uh, some packages are marked with red color there. Uh, means, uh, this is DOCS packages there. No, I think that package is not available on that CD. Uh, sir, uh, one is PHP 5 DBG. Yes. PHP, uh, 5, PHP 5 Recode. No, no, you want to only install that. I think that package is not available on the disk. I think for this workshop we need only the following packages that is Apache 2, Apache, Apache 2, PHP 5, MySQL, hyphen server and open JDK. These all are the packages is available. So if you want to uh, install some other packages you can directly connect to the internet and install. Um, so which router we should buy for connectivity? I think wireless router uh, yesterday Mr. Rajesh told you it is a TP link that we are checked here. You can connect up to 100 tablets. Uh, just check it in the Moodle, all the information are available on Moodle. Uh, is it required to install AV software on Ubuntu machine? No, no. AV you can install only on Windows. Okay. Sir, actually there is one query regarding 5 November. Uh, which is uh, training session for Akash coordinators. Okay. Uh, sir, actually your director uh, sir also wants to attend this training session. No, only one Akash coordinator want to come here. Okay, sir. Uh, and sir, today I got a mail about that uh, we need some computers in same lab uh, on 10th and 11th. Yeah. For attending the quiz sessions in yes, the evening. Yes, yes. Uh, so sir, can we arrange this lab in uh, different rooms? Yes, yes, okay. And sir, we are not able to attend quiz 1, but we have done quiz 2 today. So, quiz 1 was number 3? Okay, no problem. Okay sir, thank you. 1288. We have, uh, right now the Wi-Fi setup was Sony Goal. So, will they support the Akash tablet or we have to purchase the uh, TP router? If you have Wi-Fi setup, you can use that. Okay, no problem. And sir, uh, what is the last date of uh, registration of the server? Because we are right now continuing the server, uh, not done the uh, software part. So, uh, it will take tomorrow morning, we will done all the setup. So, is there any scheduled date for uh, server registration or anything else? Yes, but before 5th, you want to set up all these things. Because 6th onwards, we are starting the testing using tablets. Okay sir. Triple one six. Oh.
so when we are clicking on the uh, coordinate registration form then we are not uh, able to go to the registration form what error is it showing uh, sir uh, uh, i am getting error that uh, we are getting exception that org dot apache dot jsp is a dsp expect uh, that, that null pointer exception that internet is connected yes sir yes sir okay maybe that is a problem in the database connectivity uh, so what we have to do you just configure the database username clicker underscore ui and password also clicker underscore ui then only it will work you just check that the slides are available on moodle just follow the step still the problem is not solved you just post it on moodle we will reply okay sir thank you sir okay thank you